And continuing our team coverage now, other emergency management agencies in middle Georgia are covering their bases to protect residents during this winter blast. 41 NBC's Skylar Henry is live in Warner Robins where Houston County's EMA is using teamwork to get everyone safe. Ashley, I'm on an overpass right now in Warner Robins overlooking I-75. I've got to tell you, it feels pretty good out here right now, but as you and Chris have mentioned, I'm sure it's going to get really cold and it's going to get cold quick, fast, and in a hurry. Crews tell me that they will be spreading salt and sand mixtures on overpasses and bridges like this to make sure that all of their bases are covered throughout the county. They actually need departments in the county to work together to help them do that. Talks of chilly temperatures have emergency crews all over Houston County warming up their response vehicles. <laughs> Officials met Monday to get a briefing from EMA Chief Jimmy Williams on when Middle Georgia can expect ice. We've got our public works that are pre-positioning some salt, salt pellets and other uh, equipment around to so we can uh, take care of our bridges and our roads and our overpass. Crews are already taking steps to prepare. They've got pallets of salt and sand mixtures ready to hit the streets. Williams thinks preparation is the key to make sure everyone stays safe. All of our players have been in place. The Red Cross was here in case we need sheltering and other things. So really all of our game players just came together and, and, and we're working on uh, all of our efforts to, to make things go as smoothly as possible. Cars may be speeding past this road now, but emergency crews in Houston County want to make sure they pay attention to that caution. Bridge may ice in the winter sign. They say it's going to be important that drivers take precaution when they're driving on these slick roads. It's one thing but when you have sleet and ice and, and, and things that may hamper the transportation and, and you're traveling to and from school, that, that's a totally different issue. Officers from different police departments, public works employees, and even officials with the school district are all working as a unit to make sure everything goes well. One entity does one thing and another entity does a, a different thing. And of course, it creates additional chaos and, and issues with the constituents. So if we're all, all together and all on the same page, everything works much more smoothly. And Chief Williams tells me that he's going to be checking back periodically with the National Weather Service in the next 24 hours. He said he's going to check back in again tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. But Houston County schools are closed tomorrow. If you want to see if your school district is closed, you can log on to our website, 41NBC.com. And, of course, you can check back into our newscast at 11 o'clock with Ashley and Chris. Reporting live in Warner Robins, Skylar Henry, 41NBC News.